hello everyone welcome to another video in this video we will discuss an important uh, concept called as how to use the microsoft copilot using power apps normally in every day we use different natural query languages right so when we build a power apps we normally design the tables we design columns and etc etc right but before designing you can avail or you can take or you can leverage the copilot feature uh, so that you can just describe what your app will do then it will create your app uh, automatically for you by creating tables and columns and etc according to your requirement right so let me create an app using my daily language i use right so let's say create uh, a create an app to manage real estate information right so i want to create an app to store or to manage real estate information so click on next once you click on next it will display the information that the table information to store in to, to store data right so here you see it it is trying to create a record or table whose name is real estate and with this columns real property id address price bedrooms how many bedrooms how many bathrooms right so these are the minimum columns that has been auto generated but if you want to change the property of the table you can change the property here and if you want to add new columns also you can add but you can take the help of copilot no no need to use to navigate to uh, table and uh, configure that right so you can directly click here in the copilot and write down your uh, requirement for example property id address price bedroom and bathroom are there i want to add a new column add a new column to store property type okay property type with items duplex apartment now click on next now what we are expecting now the copilot will try to create a new column where it will create a choice field and display and add these two items you see guys now this is the column you can see you can view the column here and here it is adding two columns right so this way you can add multiple requirements to copilot tell your requirements to copilot and it will keep adding right let me add a new requirement add a new table to store areas or project areas project locations for property now this is the stage where you can tell your copilot to build the data model right what it is asking would you like a new table if so click restart conversation it will actually create only one table at, at present in the top right corner of the chart window otherwise let's continue with the working with existing table right so you cannot add a new table right now but later on you can add new tables and create relationships now click on create app and once you click on create app it will create a model driven app for you which uses the table to store the real estate information if you normally do uh, this app development using solutions create new tables columns it takes time but in, when you use copilot uh, feature it will uh, take just fraction of seconds to create an app uh, for you now you see the power apps is created for us and and the power apps will display the information for me right 
now this is the canvas i've created for us and where i can run it to check so copilot is very helpful to build applications very quickly at present there is a limitation that you can only use one table while building the app but uh, in addition future it will support multiple tables now you see if you click on run you see here these are the records that are created and you can create new records also by using new option you can provide here let's say mumbai bedrooms 3 price property type you can define here and you can tick mark so that it will save your record and the record is created right you can delete and you can edit so a simple way of creating a quick app quick power apps will help you uh, it's done through copilot okay so no need to start your entity from scratch it will create for you okay you can add uh, multiple components to your canvas app also in canvas apps copilot will also help you to add components in your uh, app like you want to add a text level you want to add a gallery add a button you can do anything of your choice right let's say i want to add an email screen then it will add a new page or new screen which will enable me to send an email right so this way you can take help of copilot in your canvas app development right so it's working and uh, a new screen is created for your canvas app and by which you can send an email so like that you can use galleries you can use uh, tell copilot to use galleries any control of your choice you just uh, tell to the copilot and it will add with required necessary uh, minimum information that is required for that control yeah it's still working on it it is created the screen one and it is trying to update all required fields for sending email right you can search users here And once you search, you can put some subject here and some message and click on send. Once you click on send, it will send an email to the rest, the corresponding user that is selected, right? The point here is Copilot helps in a big way to save our time and productivity, right? To give us more productivity. And the most important thing is you just add your everyday language here to tell the Copilot to do your task. Okay. and uh, if you want to add a new screen if you want to add a new form right so you can ask any question and it will do the necessary thing let's say i want to add a screen i want to tell add a screen and add a gallery to display real estate info now what I am expecting it should add a new screen with a gallery and display or bind the real estate information to the gallery control. I do not need to do this manually rather the copilot will do this. It will take some couple of seconds. Now you see screen one has added. This name is already used. It is trying to change the screen but it is something wrong okay let me so new screen is added it is trying to create a screen too but um, screen given the screen one name but it was there that's why it is showing so let me rename this send email and screen two. let me delete this okay now let me ask the same question let us see 
so it is always trying to create a new screen with a name screen one so if there is a screen one already available in your um, tree view or in your app try to rename this and it should not be a problem now you see screen three is created and a gallery also placed and the real estate data is also bound here if you see right so this is the part of my real estate table so very quickly how quickly it is creating the screens and adding controls right now here i can add some buttons here if i'll click on add button it will add a button here on your screen right so it's kind of you give your natural command that you speak and copilot will help you to um, perform the operation that you have told to do right so thank you for everyone watching this video and you understand how copilot can be uh, uh, helpful or how we can leverage copilot in our uh, power apps creation and canvas app uh, for better productivity okay thanks everyone see you see you bye